Hello, Sharia and everyone with Bumblebee Plumbing. This is Rachel. Thanks for clicking on this video. So I'm just going to go over some things that you guys could do with your website here. Kind of get it updated. Um, make it start working a little bit better for you. Make the internet start bringing you guys some more business. So we'll get started here. I've got your website up. I like your phone number right up here at the top. Quick um, click to call here. We've got your logo right over here. Really great. Um, your website looks really nice. It's clean. I like the theme of it. Um, well organized as we come down. We've got some stuff about you guys here. We've got some testimonials, which is always great to have on your home page. Um, we've got some of the different services that you guys offer, which is great. Some specials. All kinds of good info. A video here, which is always wonderful. The different service areas that you guys cover. And then we've got your contact information down here and different ways for your clients to connect with you. All of that's really great as well. And so what Google really cares about on this homepage is the content. And they want to see you sitting at about a 1,500 to 2,000 word mark of quality command content on this homepage. Now, in addition to that content, they want to see buyer intent keywords sprinkled organically throughout it. And so I'll dive into those um, keywords here in a minute. Uh, but the reason that we want to have that content and those keywords on this home page is when folks are searching in Google for your services, Google's going to send crawlers to your website to find those keywords and phrases that match what folks are looking for. And it's going to start to bring your website up because it knows that you can help them. And the next thing that we're going to talk about here is backlinks. So a backlink is just a shout out from another website that lets Google know that you're trustworthy and relevant, but Google also has to make sure that that website that's giving you that backlink is trustworthy and relevant as well. Now the tool that I use to check out backlinks is called Arifs. This is a paid tool. You don't have to use it. There are other free tools out there. Um, so what we're going to look at here is this UR rating and this DR rating. So the UR is your trust rating with Google. The DR is your power rating with Google. So as we can see, your trust rating is much higher than your power rating. So we want these numbers to be a lot closer. So we need to bring that power rating up and then increase both of these as well. Now these are influenced by the backlinks that you have. The backlinks just come from these referring domains. So you've got over a thousand backlinks here because these numbers are so far apart. And even though your trust is higher, it's still relatively low. That just lets us know that these backlinks that you do have aren't as trustworthy, relevant, or as powerful as they could be. They're not doing as much work for you as they could be. Now, I also put in one of the top competitors in the Glendale area, and it's um, the Parker and Sons folks over there. And so as we can see, they're kind of opposite of you. Their trust rating is much lower, but their power rating is much higher. Again, they've got a ton more backlinks, but they're not doing as much for them as they could be. And we can tell that from this rating here. Now, the one thing I do want to look at is these organic keywords, right? So that's where we can find those buyer intent keywords. So as we can see, it doesn't look like your website has any right now. Again, this is just a tool though. So we can click in here and you can explore through this and what you're looking for. Um, I don't think you guys do AC repair, but just as an example, we want a service that you offer and a service area. So we can explore through all of these keywords and we can find ones that apply to you guys. So you um, offer services in Phoenix. So Plumber Phoenix has about 800 searches per month. These are those buyer intent keywords that you guys want to have on that homepage that you want to have sprinkled throughout your content throughout your entire website. Because if you can get some of these searches, that's a ton of clients that you guys can start landing. And so, like I said, just explore these different kinds of buyer intent keywords. Plumber Glendale, Arizona has about 300 people per month searching for it. So this is definitely one of those keywords that you're going to want on your home page. And so once we increase the content on that home page, once we increase the buyer intent keywords on there, and once we increase and improve the backlinks that we've got, we're going to start ranking organically and that's going to increase our organic traffic as well. And so that's you know, real leads, real money coming to you guys. And once you start ranking organically, you're going to start to show up in this section right down here. And you want to be in this first, second, or third position. Now, the last thing that we're going to talk about in this video is this area right here called the local map pack or the Google My Business. This is where most of the traffic goes for Google, right? And so how we get ranked here is we want to have a Google business profile, which you've got. We want to make sure it's filled out completely. So your business's name, address, phone number, we want to have pictures on here and we want to make sure they're all geotagged properly and uploaded with the proper alt text, right? And then 
I mean, keep getting those Google reviews. You guys have awesome reviews. That's really great. That's going to help you start ranking up there higher. So keep getting those. And then as we come further down, having questions and answers, wonderful stuff. Um, make sure that your description is between 700 to 750 words of quality content. Again, let Google know that you guys are an authority figure on plumbing, right? And then sprinkle some more of those buyer intent keywords throughout it as well. And then the last thing is having your citation in as many directories as possible. So a citation is just your business's name, address, and phone number. And directories just include things like Facebook, Yelp, Yellow Pages, Angie's List, Home Advisor, stuff like that. So what I would do if I was in your shoes, find all the directories that these top competitors are listed in, get yourself added into those exact same ones, and then go above and beyond that. If these guys are in 150, um, directories, get yourself added into 200, 250, 250 directories, really blow them out of the water. All right. That's all I've got for you today. I look forward to your feedback. Thanks.